fastest car in the world, it's not a Bugatti. I'm sorry. That ended in 2020 when the Koenigsegg Jesko, what's this called? Koenigsegg. They just produced the fastest car in the world four years ago and I didn't know. And frankly, I'm quite upset about it. The Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute goes 330 miles per hour. Yes, 330 miles per hour. It's powered by a twin turbo V8 has a two and a half second zero to 60 and a zero to 100 of 4.1 seconds. Yes, zero to 100 miles an hour in 4.1 seconds. Now, the Bugatti Chiron, it goes up to 304 miles an hour. 330 smokes it. To put things in perspective, a 45 caliber bullet flies 600 feet per second and this car literally goes half that speed. Now, the Jesco, is designed to be extremely streamlined. It's extremely aerodynamic. The wind basically just glides right over it, okay? Now, the Jesco Absolute, it's designed for top speed, straight line, going fast. Now, they have another model made out of the 115 that they made, and it's called the uh, Jesco Attack, and that one is made for downforce. So basically you can take corners in it very well, very easily. Now, how much if you want to buy one? It, it, it might be your new dream car now that you've heard it's the fastest car in the world. Three million dollars. Or in today's money, that's about one carton of eggs. I wish I had play money like Koenigsegg does to kind of just make two versions of the fastest car in the world. But unfortunately, I needed eggs and now I'm broke. The Jesco is actually considered a mega car because it exceeds a megawatt of power, which is over 1300 horsepower. Now, this produces 1600 horsepower just with a twin turbo V8. Get out of here with your V12s and your V10s. We don't need that. We need a V8 and a few turb skis. Now, Koenigsegg's come a long way since their first production car that came out in 2002, which would be the model CC8S. Now the CC8S had 655 horsepower, had a 0 to 60 of 3.8 seconds, and a 0 to 100 of 8.1. They also had 60 million dollars to produce their cars right off the bat, which probably went really fast considering it was a supercar. Honestly, if I had the money to play around with the fastest car in the world, I would absolutely do it in a, heart do it in a heartbeat. I am not, would not ever hate on this car, ever, ever, because I'm not gonna sit around and be salty that I don't have the money for it. This is an absolutely beautiful car. I would do horrible things to have one, honestly. I mean, quite frankly, $3 million, how would I get that? I, I don't know. Hopefully this YouTube thing works out. <laughs> or I could just stop buying eggs. Some people are all about the looks of the car. Some people are all about the speed, the performance, the torque. Well, it's got 1600 horsepower and it's got over a thousand foot pounds of torque and it has the looks. It is a beautiful car. Now, me personally, I'm more of a muscle car guy myself. I like the classics. I like the boxier styles, you know? I like old square bodies. I say that's how I am. That being said, I'm not sure how difficult that would be considering there were 115 made. But it would be pretty cool I'd probably actually go for the attack model because I like taking corners and I like drifting. Now, going fast in a straight line is really fun as well. So I wouldn't complain either way. However, I like breaking her loose and going sideways. And uh, you know, with enough downforce, you can do great things. So there's your crash course on the fastest car in the world, the Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute.